Oh, also, just so you know, it, with all of these videos on YouTube, you can just go down, I think it's like the, the bottom right corner in, this, in the little video settings, and you can speed up or slow down the video. So if I'm talking too fast or if I'm talking too slow, you can just adjust it and uh, make it work for you. Disclaimer, just because we do it doesn't mean you should. Okay, now I'm going to start cutting. I'll go ahead and start with the right hand box. So let's see, we'll be using uh, some sheet metal shears. Actually, which ones do I like more? These ones or these ones? Ooh, I can't decide. Wait, which ones are mine? These are pretty nice, but so are these. We'll do like a rough line about an, I don't know, an inch or so away from the actual line that we want. Man, I hope I did this right. Burr it. I'm gonna leave this corner a little bit. I'm gonna file it. So now we have pretty much the rough side. I'm gonna leave this a little bit thicker, at least for now. But, and then I'm just gonna smooth everything out. So what I'm trying to avoid is actually finishing, you know, snipping all the way through because it'll kind of leave you with a little um, burr and kind of a little indentation in the metal. So I'm trying to avoid actually snipping all the way through and just kind of going almost all the way, but not quite. Because it'll, it'll make it a bit cleaner that way. But I don't seem to be doing a very good job of that.
Ah, all right, I gotta take a break. I gotta get my hand a rest. Now, I am just going to uh, basically deburr all the edges and file everything down. All right, now it's time to test fit these babies, or just fit them, I guess, because I think uh, they're pretty much they're ready to go on there. So. I'm going to trim this piece right here just a tiny bit because I don't want it hitting the uh, cooling fins. Just not really a big fan of that. So that should help a bit.
I got, still got to put that little grommet in there, and now we'll get the left side. Okay, actually, I just noticed that it's really tight right here, and it's actually the aluminum air box is actually hitting the cylinder head fins. Um, you can see right there. I think that's what this is from. It's kind of chipped the paint off and and uh, maybe bent the that little outer portion just a tiny bit, which isn't the end of the world, of course, if these get a little bit bent up, but you know, if they if they get uh, deformed and that sort of thing, it's not really good. Kind of messes with the whole flow of things, and I just don't like it touching there. So I'm actually going to take this back off and then uh, fix that right there, and then put it all back on. Working with the left hand air blocks here, and I just did a little test fit, and this spot right here, this little curve over the uh, back guess what's that number four cylinder um, needs I need to take off a little bit here because right here it's just keeping it from keeping it from uh, sitting all the way down and and uh, seating properly also while I'm at it I'm gonna bend this little tab out a little bit to make sure we get a good fit on that little flange so I'm just gonna go ahead and trim this Turn this off a little bit, something like this. That well it might need a little bit more. Let's see here. That ought to. Boom! There we go. There's the uh, aluminum air boxes. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. So, assuming I did everything correctly, and assuming that everything fits the way it should with the cowling on here, man, I really hope it. Really hope it does. Otherwise, it'd be a, kind of a pain to have to uh, trim that. But assuming I did everything correct, that's it for the air boxes. So, hopefully, this video was helpful to you if you are working on your air boxes for your UL Power engine. And if I didn't say it already, this is a UL Power 350 IS engine. And cool, that's great. So yeah, not too complicated, but it is just, you know, it's a little finicky trying to get everything to fit right. And you'll have to kind of, you know, tweak it however you need to, to get it to work. Okay, thanks for watching. And I'm gonna go work on something else. See you next time.